That's what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, sometimes you need inspiration or ideas from other people to get uh, past roadblocks and, you know, just sometimes you're stuck when you're playing guitar and you don't know what to do anymore. This is three things that I've changed in the past year that I found have helped and I'm doing the opposite of one right now. So the first one is the way I sit. And this won't apply to everybody because everybody's different, right? You have different body frames, different uh, posture, people play differently. For me, if I sit and play in this position, just like I was in the intro, my shoulder starts seizing up and basically starts cracking and popping and uh, I can't play like that. So for some reason, I don't know why it took me this long, I discovered, well I didn't really discover, I just kind of accidentally did it. When I play standing up, this is not my position to play, I play like this. Hey, you, watch your headstocks. This is how I play standing up, right? So bring that into a seated position. It's on my opposite knee now. There's a name for this. Is this classical style, I believe? It lets me get over top of the guitar too. I can get, dig in a bit better. get that same it's more of a, a straight standing position I don't get that same shoulder pain so that's one thing I've changed two other things well that thing cost that costs nothing maybe you don't maybe you don't have that problem but if you do have some kind of pain when you're playing just take a look at how you're sitting and see if you're kind of crunched over or curled up or if your arm is in a weird position this might help right the second thing that I changed recently, and I should have done this years ago. I don't know why I didn't. Did it and didn't. What are these? 0.53 milliliter picks. Millimeter, right? Flappy, flippy, floppies. I used these for years when I used to play in a band. I used them on acoustic and I'd use them on electric. And for fast flicking, I guess for rhythm, they're pretty cool. I guess they work. But then I discovered I wasn't using the right pick for a long time. I've actually jumped two steps. I went to a, a Dunlop, an Eric Johnson, right? These ones. I'll put a link to. Uh, what these are in the description below. Basically, I don't know if this is gonna pick up. I think it's more prominent in clean guitar, but. That's with that one. You hear that? Right? It just lets you, it's a harder pick, it's a smaller pick. It just lets you attack the string harder. And then I actually upgraded past that into something that I love now even more. Chicken picks, these are the 2.5 millisecond millimeter. Let's see if you can hear a difference between these two, okay? Careful not to eat them. And I'm digging in as hard as I can with that. Right?
So basically, what I'm trying to say is, look at different picks. Don't just stick with the same pick. Don't be a prick. Go to try different picks. The third thing. Most guitars I buy, uh, that I bought anyways, have been Fender, the Strats, and uh, why well, I'm not looking at the camera. Strats, Tellys, and they usually come stock with 9 to 42. And immediately I would take those off and I'd put on 10 to 46. I don't know why. This year, I thought, I gotta try something else. I'm just, I don't think I have strong fingers. Maybe you don't have strong fingers. You can develop stronger hands by playing more. But I switched from, don't worry about the brand right now, it's the, uh, the string gauge that matters. I changed from 10 to 46 to these hybrids. And these are 9 to 46. So all this changing is the, uh, the high strings going from a, a 9, 13, 17 to a 9, 11, and 16. So you still get the, the heavier low end strings, but it's much easier to bend with baby weak fingers like mine. I guess I've got little baby hands. That right there. One finger bend with a, a 13. Used to have trouble doing that with one finger. Now I can single digit it. Hold on a second here. What am I changing? Yeah. I've gone from a 17 to a 16, right? Now I'm rambling on. Okay, so to recap, I was like this, an old man. After I, I killed me, this used to kill me. I was dying. Sometimes I still shut up. Sometimes I still catch myself doing that. For example, when I'm sitting in a chair like this and I'm at my computer typing, I have it over here. Go like this. If you're having this problem. This isn't for everybody, like I mentioned. Okay, rambling on. Picks. Try some new picks. Switch your picks. Third, don't be afraid to change your gauge of your strings. can make the world a difference. They're not all made for everybody, right? Some people like 11s, some people like 10s, some people like 9s, some people like 69s. <laughs> All right, that's it. Enough of this nonsense. Take my advice or leave it. I don't care. This stuff worked for me. This stuff helped me. Sometimes you just need little changes. Inexpensive changes, right? This doesn't have to cost anything. You're already buying picks. You're already buying guitars. No. You're already buying strings. You're already buying picks. Change it up. Save your shoulders if you can. Posture is important. Actually, just stand and play. Don't, don't sit. Oh, that's pretty. How nice that guitar looks right now. Is that picking up? All right, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I will see you the next time in the next video.